Hey everyone, Uno Gamer Guy here, and today we're going to be playing The Long Dark. I love this game. It's an open world survival game where you play against the elements, so it's more of an exploration survival game. There's no PvP as far as I know, there's no multiplayer. But we're going to go with the survival mode instead of the story mode. And I'm going to do the 100 day challenge, but I'm going to try it on every difficulty level. So we're going to start with the easiest one here first, Pilgrim Mode. And it says this is for new or experienced players most interested in pensive exploration. Most survival elements tuned to be very forgiving. Wildlife will not attack unless provoked. Allows for five active feats. So I think feats are like challenges or something that you could activate. And I love Mystery Lake. I'm always going to start in Mystery Lake. I do not know the rest of the areas very well. So if I think if I'm going to actually complete this 100-day challenge, it's going to be on Mystery Lake. Yep, I do for new players, good balance. Yep, let's go ahead and do it. I want a male. Uh, confirm. Name the sandbox. We're going to go with Uno. Gamer guy. And uh, a mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? All right. Well, I'm going to shoot for that 100-day mark. Life is an error-making and an error-correcting process, and nature in marking man's papers will grade him for wisdom, both measure both. Yikes, I'm going to have to read faster. Okay, so here we are in the long dark, and I kind of remember where we are. I think this is the tunnel that takes us to the, another side of the map. This is the hydroelectric dam. So let's go ahead and start. Oh, it's left click to manipulate things. So we're going to search everything. Uh, yeah. What else do we have? Ooh. Dump remover. We used to craft gunpowder. That's new. There's so much in here that I... I just don't remember or... Uh, it's been added since I've played last. But as you all know, I am a loot junkie. So I'm going to take everything I possibly can. You have to keep holding the left one down. Oh, and I don't have a pry bar, so we can't get in there. This stuff will come in handy. Oh, a toque. Toque is a hat. Like a wool hat. Oh, I see a jacket over there. Uh, can I take the pillow? No. All right, so, so far, we got some good stuff. So we're going to hit I and open up our inventory. And we're going to click on our, our clothing guy. And let's see, torso. We have something new we could put in here. We do. Let's go ahead and wear that. We have something else we could put on here. Nope. Nope. Nothing, nothing. And we're going to change from a ball cap to this. There we go. You can see that the stats, it gives us better heat, better wind protection, better waterproof. Looks like better armor protection, doesn't slow you down. It's a little bit heavier and a little bit worse for wear, but that's okay. We're going to we're going to take that and do we have other gloves? We do not. Okay, so in our lower left-hand corner, if you take a look, 
to see our hunger, our food, or I mean our drink, how rested we are, and how warm we are. Those, those are going to be our life meters. In the upper right-hand corner, you see the little day-night cycle. You can see that it's you know late morning. The middle will be high noon. And I recall from playing this in the past that normally where I like to hole up is in the ranger station. That's straight down these railroad tracks. But I don't know. Uh, there's a lot in the hydroelectric dam. I recall there being wild, uh, wild uh, what's its name? I uh, no, I don't want to break anything down yet. Uh, a wolf inside the hydroelectric dam, and it would hunt you. Ooh, a bedroll? Cannot take it. I will search this backpack. Nice, a little bit of food. Uh, yeah, I'll take a can of soda. Is that a flare? Anything in the crate? Oh, yeah, I'll take some matches, too. Now, normally, if you uh, if you can look at something like it says metal shelf and you know reclaimed wood, that normally means, normally means you can do something with it. You can manipulate it somehow. Dog food in a pinch is good to eat. It's better than dying. Ooh, it looks like some scrap metal. All this is good for crafting. And staying alive. All right, I think we're good for now. Oh, no, we'll leave the book, because the book just gives you tinder, and we have plenty of tinder to start fires and such. So I kind of want to go in this hydroelectric dam, but... We are really going to be weighed down. All right, so I remember you could go in here. Yep, let's get the can of pop and search the glove box. I could use this. Ooh, some painkillers. Nothing on the radio. All right, so what do we do? Well, let's go in the dam. We're here. I'm like going to be on the edge this whole time because I know there's a good possibility that there is a wolf in here. I'm going to have to make some type of a a torch or a light. So yeah, this is the hydroelectric dam. It's pretty cool. Let's get in here. So look, yes, there's all sorts of stuff in here. I don't think I could search that. No, I could only break it down. You know, you make me want to break down. Got a jerry can with some stuff in it. I will search everything. Look, because you don't know what you're going to find. Now, this is going to be the easiest of all the challenges because I'm the easiest setting. So, for that reason, this dam. Oh, yes. There may not be any wolf in here. And if there's not, then there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to set up base in here. Is there a workbench? Up and down. I thought there was a workbench. Ooh, a safe. All right, we'll have to come back to that safe. 
safe. Because we will have to lock pick it. Lantern fuel. All right, I know I, I'm skipping over a lot of stuff here. But I don't need all this stuff weighing me down until I figure out where we're going to put up camp. And I need a barrel or something to make fire in order to stay somewhere. And unfortunately, right now, I do not see anything. I don't want to go down because there's... It's like a huge, long walk. And I'm just looking for... Somewhere that has... A burn barrel, so we might not be able to do this. What's well, on the third level? I'm assuming more offices. But if there wasn't, oh, we probably can't go out here. Nope. All right. All right, so I don't think we could set up camp in here, so we should probably just search the whole thing, take what we can. Oh, here's a workbench. That's good, though. Oh, there's already a workbench. Can I use it? I can. All right, so we need to loot this entire place and get back to somewhere. So the third floor is a work, oh, we can't. Second floor is a workbench. But there's no burn barrel, right? We went through this whole place. What's going on in here? All right, well, I guess we'll just do some more loot. there was something over here or was it the chair I don't know take that flare let's see if we can nail this uh, oh that's right it's left and right you gotta listen for the clicks You gotta listen for like this little swing. No, I can't make that noise again. So you gotta go to the left first with your arrow keys. And then the tumbler one will highlight white and go unlock. You go as fast as you want. Oh, there's one. Now you gotta go to the right. 
That was like 46. Sometimes I write them down as well. So it goes a lot quicker the second time. Get into the end of the dial. Wow, is it the same number? All right, so we got the two. Don't get impatient. And there might not be anything that great in here. And you will get better and faster at this. I'm just making, and there we go. And you click open. And we got some rifle ammo, pair of insulated boots, some cash. I think the cash is only good for lighting fires. And we will end this episode here. So thank you for watching. This is part one of my solo 100-day walkthrough challenge. And uh, we're still on day one. So hit a like and a subscribe for me, please. Another open world survival game in the ranks. If you have any suggestions on a game that you want to see, let me know. I'll be happy to play it, as long as it's open world. Uh, I will talk to you later, and I will see you on the mountain.